Hey guys, Vikas over here and you are watching We Are Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video around Linkit 7688 Duo module. The Linkit 7688 Duo module comes with an empty 7688 MCU as well as one 8 mega 3T U4 controller that comes with Arduino bootloader. So over here I am going to connect one DST12 humidity and temperature sensor to the module and publish the sensor data to a particular MQT topic. The sensor comes with an I2C interface. The sensor is connected to the GPIOs of the ATMI controller and to fetch data from the controller to the MPU, I will be using Formata protocol. On the MPU side, we will be using Python which will fetch the data from the MCU and publish the same using MQTT. To interact with the MCU using the Formata protocol, I have used PyMata library. And to publish the red data using MQTT, I am going to use Peho MQTT library for Python. If you are not aware of Linkit 7688 Duo module, you can check my earlier videos on this for which I have provided the link down below in the description. Again, this is not limited to the Linkit 7688 module. This method, particular method can be used with any host controller like Raspberry Pi or Onion Omega or anything that runs Linux and any sort of Arduino board. I am using Linkit because it has the host controller which is MT7688 which actually runs OpenWRT over here and the atmega 32 u 4 having Arduino bootloader in a single board. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, we'll start up with the uh, like connecting the DST12 sensor to the Linkit module. And the connections are going to be pretty much straightforward as the sensor comes with an I2C interface. We just need to connect to the same I2C interface of the module over here. So again, the SDI line goes to the SDI line and the SCL line goes to the SCL line of the Linkit 7688-2 module. And over here, the SDI SCL pins are of the Atmega 32U4 module. The SDI and SCL line has to be pulled off using 4.7K resistors to 3.3V. And apart from that, we just need to provide 3.3V and ground to the sensor. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much straightforward. Nothing special over here. Just a couple of connections and couple of registers and we are good to go. So now let's check how to interact with the sensor and phase data out of it. So guys, I have connected my Linkit Duo module to the PC and I have already installed the drivers uh, required for this. And if you are new to this, like, you know, first time you are connecting your Linkit module to the PC, you can check out my earlier video on this, wherein I have demonstrated how to install the required drivers and all, and how to add the support for Linkit module to Arduino IDE. So I've already done that. So what I'll do is over here, I'll go to the examples and just check for formatter and we'll open up the standard formatter sketch. Once again, yeah, over here. So we need to upload this particular sketch to the Linkit module, but we need to do some changes. Actually, we are going to change the serial port used by the standard formatter sketch. So to do that, I'll just search for formatter dot begin. Yeah. So over here, actually by default it is serial. So we need to change that. We just need to uncomment this one. Formatter dot begin serial one, and serial one dot begin five seven uh, like six double zero. Then in while loop we need to change this to from serial one, and we just need to comment this out. Formatter dot begin five six seven double six double zero. So why this? Because is the MPU MT seven six double eight and the MCU the Atmega three two U four which is having the Arduino bootloader communicates through the serial one port rather than serial. So yeah, after the changes are made, we just need to upload the sketch to the module. Make sure your board is available over here. Like you have selected Linkit Smart 7688 Duo and you have selected the So yeah, the sketch is uploaded and that's pretty much all from Arduino IDE side. So we need to SSS to the Linkit module and we'll proceed further. So guys, over here I have connected to my Linkit module using SSH and actually the Linkit module is connected to my local network using Wi-Fi. So if you are new to this, like you know, you are not aware of how to connect your Linkit module to your local network 
and set it up you can check out my earlier video on this for which i have given the link down below in the description so to start with uh, as we are going to use python to interact with the sensor using formatter as well as we are going to publish the data uh, like to a particular mkdu topic using python we need to install couple of libraries for that so to start with i'm going to install pymatter first which is a python client library for formatter protocol so to do that i'll just use command pip install pymatter so this particular library will help us to interact with the arduino module using formatter so if you want to like you know get into details of this and what are the apis available and all i'll just drop a link down below in the description so that you can go through so it supports all sort of communication including i2c spi and all as well as the regular gpio communications and all so this might take a bit of time so let's just wait for it yep it's done now we are going to install peho mqtt which is a mqtt client uh, like for python so this uh, helps us uh, like communicate with the broker I got a couple of warnings. Okay, let's uh, proceed with further steps. Uh, so yeah, the libraries are installed and we are done with the requirements. So now I'll just uh, write our script and I'm just going to create a file like main gst12 dot py. So yeah, uh, so this will create a text file. I uh, to make it acceptable. So over here. Uh, this is a script uh, that is uh, that I'm going to use. So I'll just copy this one. Let's just paste it over here. Escape, WQ. Again, uh, uh, just uh, let's just go through the code once. So over here, I have imported some libraries that I'm going to use through the script. Then I've defined board LED as 13. Then we are creating an object for Pymata. So it takes the serial port uh, that we are going to use to interact with the Arduino. So for Linkit module, it is TTY S0. But if you are using any other host, let's say you are using Onion Omega or something like that, or any other Linux host, maybe Raspberry Pi or something, uh, this port might change. Uh, so based on that, you, you need to change this particularly over here then borbos is false if it is true it will print out the communication details on like uh, how many pins the uh, arduino module is having and all those sort of details so if we can uh, like if you are really interested to know your arduino module that is connected you can make it true so it will uh, like print out the arduino module details then over here uh, there is a function on connect which is being used by the mqtt client so whenever the connection gets successful or unsuccessful any sort of thing so this particular function will be invoked now there's signal handler that uh, is for you know when you press ctrl c and all you try to stop the script it gets invoked then there's a binding for that then we are setting up board which we created over here uh, from parameter and all so we are putting off that board led as output and is digital then after that we are going to set up the i2c interface using board.i2c config then uh, the interface is zero then digital and the pin number three and two so for if you are using some other arduino models like you know or something it might change and it makes please make sure to change this uh, you know uh, values depending upon the arduino board you are using so you can uh, you know find all these details in the pymata docs and also yeah that's there in the description after that i am setting up the mkt client so I'm just simply creating a MQTT client and authenticating with username password. So in my case, I'm just going to, you know, credentials for my MQTT broker. 
then we are binding on connect method that we have defined earlier so whenever the you know, client invokes on connect this particular method will get called then we are connecting to the broker and the broker IP address the port and the default timeout then we are using client.loop start so this will you know uh, loop in background and make sure you are connected to a broker always so there are uh, different type of loop methods available so you can check that out from the Pymata documentations and all sorry M Pyho MKTT documentations now I'm just simply creating a dictionary sensor data with humidity and temperature as keys human temp then in a while loop we are just invoking board.i2c read the device address and then starting address uh, starting register address and the number of bytes that we want to read then board.i2c read method then we are just uh, sleeping for three seconds and all then we are fetching the data that is being read from this particular device address then the checksum is calculated so if you want to you know you can check over here and uh, when you go through the data sheet of the module you find the default addresses and the related values like 0 cross 0 0 is the integral part of the humidity as well as 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 so these are different values available so uh, values in the sense are uh, like sensor value sorry sensor data available so over here when you go to 0 cross 0 4 this is a checksum and ideally this should be equal to zero uh, the additions of all those four bytes and uh, if they are not equal then there is some sort of communication error so you can go through the data sheet and all and you can check out different registers and the uh, how the ITC communication works over here and all so uh, what I'm doing is over here is I'm just calculating the uh, no, I'm adding the uh, four bytes and I'm calculating the sum and I'm checking if it is equal to the fifth byte or not so if it is not equal, I'm doing nothing. I'll just print out, you know, there is a communication or checksum error. Otherwise, if it is equal, then what I'm doing is I'm calculating humidity and temperature from it. So there is some, uh, you know, byte uh, level calculations and all. So you can go through that. Then I'm just checking the temperature uh, values, you know, sign over here. So if the most significant bit is one, then the te temperature is in negative zone so then after that i'm just assigning the dictionary key uh, like you know human temp as humidity and temperature values that we have obtained from the board finally we are just publishing client.published and i'm publishing to this particular topic home link it dst12 and i'm just converting the dictionary into string and publishing it because this publish method only takes strings and all numbers then finally we are going to blink the onboard led that is led number 13 then if exists out of this uh, while loop you can close it but for timing because i'm using while one it is not used so yeah let's just exit from here and what i'll do is i'll just run the script once and see if we are getting the data in the particular topic or not if it is publishing or not so to do that, I'm using this particular and uh, Windows client over here, MQTT client, that is MQTT spy, and I'm going to subscribe to that particular topic that we are publishing over here. So that is home link it TST12. So yeah, I have already actually connected to my broker. So if you are not, you need to first connect to broker, then subscribe to that particular topic. Now we should have the data populator over here because whenever it publishes. Yeah, you can see over here it is publishing humidity as 25.7 and temperature is 31.2. So over here humidity is in percentage of relative humidity and the temperature is in degrees Celsius. So this will start publishing and our script is pretty much working. Now let's just close this one and the final thing that we are going to do is because whenever the linkit module start you are not supposed to come to the ssh uh, this window and all or do ssh connection and all and start the script manually whereas we want it to be started automatically to do that uh, as this is open wrt based uh, you know image uh, so i'm going to use init scripts and to do that again i have uh, listed the steps over here that is there in the repository uh, so yeah so I'm just going to 
created the ht12 put over here then i'll just copy this thing so make sure you have the correct file name over here because we created the ht12 so i'll just write down the ht12 over here and then i have to write in quit and we need to provide exit tool permission for this ch mode plus x then it is c init d and dh12 yep then we need to enable the script so i'll just go over here enable now we can start it from here so i'll just say start and you'll see something like starting the dht12 sensor script because that's what we are printing whenever we're getting into the start command so let's just see if we are getting data over here so there are right now two yeah you can see over here it is started sending data now we can do one thing we can reboot the linkit module and we should have data over here So let's just wait till it gets rebooted. So let's just wait till it gets rebooted. So let's just so let's so let's uh, just wait till it get uh, like reboots. So yep. Now close this. And right now we have, you know, three payloads. So as soon as uh, the linkit module comes online, it should start publishing the data. Again, over here, actually, uh, and I go to course, uh, complete script. Yeah, I'm, I'm publishing data after every 10 second, probably, uh, because yeah, you need to add this, uh, this uh, three second delay also, 13 seconds total. So you can change this particular time so that, you know, to check, uh, you know, change the interval that you want to publish the data. Yeah, you can see over here, we have got four payloads now. So this has started publishing data. So, so guys, that's all with this. And I hope you have liked this video. If so, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, consider subscribing it for videos like this. So see you next time with our next video. Till then, goodbye.